Here at the New Life Family Church, they say these doors are open to everyone, and today they truly were. I was excited to hear what the former mayor, Kwame Kilpatrick, had to say. I was a little skeptical because I didn't know what type of message he would be delivering here. Our cameras weren't allowed inside, but from the church's video, you can see that message quickly became clear. That guy that y'all watching, he dated. Yes, sir. Man. This is me. In a speech titled, No Guts, No Glory, Kwame Kilpatrick said he had been redeemed. The man they knew as a politician was dead. The man in front of them had been reborn in a solitary prison cell. I was bruised. I was bad. I was depressed. I was scared. But then there was a violent shift. Something happened in that room. And then I came to myself. It wasn't me at all. Pastor Walton Smith says he received some heat for inviting the controversial former mayor, but still more than 200 people packed the pews. We all mess up. This is why we can't be uh, so quick to judge or condemn uh, Brother Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick still owes more than $800,000 in restitution to the city, but his supporters were more interested in how he is paying back spiritually. I was taught that when someone in your family falls down, you're supposed to help them to get back up again. Hey, he's a regular just guy just like us. Like I say, his problems are portrayed every day in the news, but we all go through trials and tribulations that we can't all overcome from. After signing copies of his book, Much love and thanks, Kawami Kilpatrick. The former mayor left without answering any media questions, saying nothing about how many sales he's made or how he's paying off his restitution. Hey, y'all have a good one. Being back in town, Kwame. I like it a lot. Still my town. Still Detroit. Great town. Pastor Smith would not say if Kwame Kilpatrick was paid to speak at church today, but we do know he will be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. From Detroit, Smith Akloki, 7 Action News.